okay in this video we are still on approximation this is still approximation but we're gonna focus our attention mostly on significant figures and decimal places some figures are insignificant especially zero when i give you zero or take away zero from you nothing has been done because you've lost now gained anything so zero is just nothing it's insignificant hence if you are trying to put a number into any given significant figure and the number is starting up with zero you don't need to start from the zero you neglect zeros okay so zeros are insignificant but zero becomes significant when it comes in between two numbers for example if you have 806 and 0866 6, and 086 for instance please this zero here is significant because if i remove this zero i'm getting 86 and 86 is different from 806 so zero is only insignificant when it begins a number hence if you are trying to put a number to a given significant figures if the number is starting up with zero you don't consider them as significant you don't count them but in decimal places you start counting from the decimal point that is why it is called decimal places so, and decimal places sf is significant figures ydp is decimal places so for the first question i will first of all put it to two significant figures and three significant figures before i put it to decimal places so for significant figures having a 864.2596 to two significant figures you begin to count from the first number that is how to do significant figures if it is decimal place you begin to count from the decimal point you count one two and stop this is now your target and the number next to it is not up to five so you add zero so if i add zero to six is still six this is still eight every other number turns to zero but in the in the decimal part zero is insignificant you don't need them so the answer is just 860 to two significant figures that's just the answer 860 to two significant figures but for three significant figures you have 864.2596 you just count one two three you stop this is your target the number next to it is not even up to five so you are adding nothing so you still have 864 point every other number turns to zero and of course in the significant figure zero is not significant so the answer is just 864 to three significant uh, figures now the same number let us put it into two and three decimal places you have 864.2596 i want to put it to two decimal places first in decimal places you must begin to count from the decimal point so for two decimal places you count one and the two you stop here this is your target the next number is up to five you add one to five it becomes a six this is two put your point you have your four you have your six you have your eight every other number turns to zero and of course this zero is insignificant so the answer is just 864.26 to two decimal places the same number can still be put into three decimal places. You have 864.2596. So to put this number to three decimal places, from the decimal point, you count one, two, three. So this is your target. The next number is up to five. You add one to 10 to nine, it turns to zero. That is 10, carry one. Put one here, here is now six. Here is now 2.468. This would have turned to zero, but because they say three decimal places they want three digits after decimal place one two three so i don't need this one because this makes it to be in the fourth decimal place so the answer is just 864.260 to three decimal places even though this zero is insignificant i would have removed it but because they want three numbers after decimal point i will leave it like that okay so let's go to question number two in number two, we have uh, 0 0.02594. To put this number to two significant figures, I will not start counting from this zero because it's insignificant. I will start counting from here for significant figures. So you count one, two for two significant figures. This is now my target. This is up to five. You add one to five, it, it becomes a six. This is two. This is 0, 0.0 every other number turns to zero and of course zero is insignificant 
So answer is uh, 0 0.026 to two significant uh, figures. You can see only two figures you are seeing here that are significant because zero is insignificant. So the same number 0 0.026. 0.02594. I want to put it to three significant figures now. Uh, I won't count zero and zero for significant figures because zero is insignificant. I will count one, two, and uh, three. This is now my target. But the next number is not up to five, so I'm adding zero. I will still have nine, five, two, zero, point zero. This number turns to zero, four. And of course, zero is insignificant. So the answer is still 0 0.0259 to three significant uh, figures. So let's put it in decimal place, the same number, to two and three decimal places. 0 0.02594. Okay, to two decimal place. In decimal place, whether zero is starting it or not, you're only interested in where you are seeing the decimal point. So you begin to count from the decimal point. So to two decimal place from the point, I will count one, two, and stop here. This number is up to five. I will add one to two. It becomes three. This is 0, 0.0. Every other number turns to zero. And of course, zero is insignificant. So I only need 0 0.03 to two decimal places. This is the answer. You can see you only have two digits, one, two, after the decimal point. To put it to three decimal places, you just count after the point one two three you stop here this is your target this is up to five you add one to five five turns to six you write your two you write your zero point uh, zero every other number turns to zero but zero is also insignificant you exclude it so the answer is zero point zero two six to three decimal uh, places this is just how to put numbers in decimal places so let's try the number three. In number three, I will just put it in two significant figures and three significant and the two decimal places. Two significant figures and two decimal places. And I will allow you to try it to put it in three significant figures as well as three decimal places to test your mastery of the topic. So we have 9.98615. I want to put it to two significant figures. I'll begin from here to count one and two. I will stop here. The next number is up to five. I'll add one to nine. Nine turns to ten. You write zero, carry one. Transfer the one to nine. Nine turns to ten. Okay, to two significant figures now. But this number zero is insignificant. I can remove it. So my answer is just a ten to two significant uh, figures. But to put it in two decimal places, eh, you begin to count after the decimal point. You say one and two, you stop. This is now your target. Because decimal places, you count from the decimal point. The next number is up to five. You add one to this uh, eight. Eight turns to nine. You write your nine point uh, nine. Every other number turns to zero. And of course, zeros are insignificant. You exclude it and your answer becomes 9.99 to two decimal places. This is just the way to do decimal places and the significant figures. Thank you.